As a result of heat waves stemming from the emission of greenhouse gases, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, has warned Nigerians to prepare for more hot days and warm nights. This preparation will require smart adaptation strategies and engaging in climate resilient practices to cope with the damage that has been done. The common effects of heat waves on humans are dehydration, which can lead to fainting or death, chickenpox, heat rash, and psychological stress. Climate change refers to a long-term shift in temperature and weather patterns, which could be natural through the sun's activities or large volcanic eruptions. Alas, today it is mainly caused by human activities, through the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, cutting down of trees, and lots more. Consequently, this has led to intense droughts, severe rains, rising sea levels, flooding, catastrophic storms, declining biodiversities, and much more. Particularly in Eche, River State, Southern Nigeria, climate change has greatly affected the health of old and young in our community. In my town, we have suffered disease outbreaks like cholera, and on excessive hot days, like today, students find it difficult to concentrate and focus on learning. As change agents, we set out to make a positive difference in our community through our big hours, first the roadshow. We visited schools and radio stations, enlightened students and general public on how we can reduce our carbon footprints, which contributes to climate change. Alternative means of energy sources, aside for burning of fossil fuel, increasing use of commercial buses, we are switching over to energy saving devices like energy saving light bulb, we are highlights of our persuasion. Students within our school were taught extensively on the need for reuse and recycling as a better alternative to burning items. As a means to saving the atmosphere, we encourage the planting of trees in our school and respective environments, which helps to trap parts of the carbon dioxide released to the atmosphere. We formed a club, Helping Hands for Passionate Volunteers, to discuss more ways to combat climate issues. As part of the school club activity, we've created two refuse bins, one for biodegradable and one for non-biodegradable. 